Hey everyone, I'm Chris Forsberg and this week on Garage Tours, we're wherever we want to be because we're going to cover my garage on wheels. We just finished up practice here in Formula Drift Seattle, but I want to give you guys an in-depth look of how we get our race cars and all the equipment around this country so we can compete. First, we start with this toter home that's on top of a Freightliner Columbia chassis, pulling this 75-foot-long rig that has everything we need to be a top-tier competitive team in Formula Drift. So the first thing you'll notice is that this trailer is actually two stories. So when we're traveling, we keep the race cars up top here and all the equipment we need on the first floor. The next thing you'll notice is that we have tons of storage in this trailer. First off here, we got some spare nitrous bottles, other equipment. We have all of our corner weight scales, alignment equipment, and then this cabinet we really hope we don't get into. It's kind of our crash super spares cabinet. Spare spindle, spare radiator. If we're digging in here, we're having a real bad weekend. Now this area here is usually the busiest of the weekend. This is where all the guys are coming in and out. We got our computer set up, all of our radios, all of our charging equipment, and uh, you know, just working counter space. In here, we keep our spare engine, spare transmission, uh, some spare taillights, just smashing those off all the time, spare crash bars, smashing those off all the time. But you know, that's all part of the fun. Gotta keep these guys busy somehow. Always need some spare fluids. We're changing gear oil and engine oil all the time, keeping these engines running fresh. Now I know this room looks a little bit empty, but this is normally where we keep our pit truck and we fill every last inch of it with tires. On any given race weekend, we're burning almost 40 hand cooked tires. That is two laps per pair. One of our biggest power upgrades has been nitrous. We do a 200 shot onto our engine, which puts us from 800 to 1,000 horsepower. And with all that nitrous, we need our own filling station. So Brian will actually come in here, crack these bottles open, we put a bottle on the scale so we can weigh it so we know the capacity of each bottle, and we chill them beforehand to compress the gas to get as much in there as possible. And now out here is our actual pit space. What you can see is we have two 370Zs. This one here is driven by Jonathan Castro from the Dominican Republic. And now we move into our mini rig. This is our Nissan hard body. We take this thing everywhere. I actually came up with this idea, designed it, and built it all myself in the shop. We have a toolbox up on top, we got a vise, and even more so, we have all these spare parts on these boards so that we can get to them real quick in case we gotta fix this car out on track. And lastly, we have our home away from home, home on wheels, whatever you want to call it. But this is where I like to come and decompress after a long day of racing or even a long day on the road because I'll actually drive this rig to and from these events. And so this is a nice personal space to come in, chill. We got food, snacks, and of course my dogs, they're rolling with me everywhere we go. And I actually put most of the miles on this rig. So it's nice to have a place that feels like home when we're on the road. As you can see, I'm just one of many on this wild traveling circus that we call Formula Drift. We have tons of competitors on the track, but we got a lot of friends off track as well. Let's head down to Ryan Turk's pit and see what he's up to. Hey Turk, what you doing man? <laughs> Goofing up on Instagram? Well here we are in Ryan Turk's pit. It's a little bit different than mine, so why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so a little bit different. We have a, uh, we're operating out of a NASCAR style hauler. Uh, 53 foot trailer, two cars that get stacked on top, all the spare parts, cabinets, tools, nuts and bolts are in the bottom. We pull the trailer with a Freightliner tractor that my little brother actually drives. It's really cool to have uh, some family on the road with me. Teamed up on Kaufman Racing, my uh, teammate Matt Kaufman who drives the uh, this insane 240 behind us. And then we just have a nice awning to uh, allow us to uh, work on the cars and any element that the uh, weather wants to give us. Nama's performance as the car all, getting all dialed in for tomorrow right now. and. Uh, some awesome pit moms behind you that always have phenomenal food and grub waiting for us when we get off track. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good atmosphere. It's uh, it's awesome to you know pit out of here and uh, great way to keep a good atmosphere at the track. It's a great way to stay in shape. That's right. <laughs> 
Well, there you have it. Thanks for tagging along for our garage on wheels. We'll see you next time. Hold on, hold on. While you guys are up in a PNW, why don't you uh, check out the Nameless Performance Shop? Oh, Nameless? They're right nameless? in Portland, right? Yeah. That's your shop. Your That's car my goes... shop. Okay, That's you're going to be there this week? It. I'll be there. All right, can we change our flights? Okay, yeah. All right, I'll just go see you there. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right, cool. Let's do it. Bye, everybody.